Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there, under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD-2. We've crash-landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Mengsk is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Marsara Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying you were all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. Diameter in place. Just promise me we'll never do anything like this again. We will do whatever it takes to save humanity. Our responsibility is too great to do any less. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders.
I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're going to send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg, that Mengst came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shining armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunting. Incoming transmission. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave him! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't Base do this. Under attack. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on? We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Jim? What the hell's going on up there? The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. 
General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Korhal fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown, and if we hope uh, to reach- To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get the in fleet my way, is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my cerebrates, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis, and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Go now, and keep safe, my prize. Behold the power of that which is yet unborn, for the swirling images that flow forth from the chrysalis are only a shadow of the sleeper's true power. The psionic emanations of the chrysalis have reached out into the depths of space and lured our enemies to us. Even now, we are aware of their plans. All right. All squadrons close formation. This game for hostiles. Emperor Arcturus believes that there's Zerg out here, so it's our job to flush them out. I don't want any slip-ups this time. We'll show these critters that they can't run from the Terran base. Engage the Terran forces with care. Your priority is to protect the Chrysalis at all costs. of the Dominion, the emanations of the Chrysalis have called even more of our enemies to Char. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Cerebrit, for you grow more cunning with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to my will and the fury of the Swarm. Yet first must you stay your wrath and watch over the Chrysalis a while longer. For the very hour of the Sleeper's rebirth is at hand, and soon my greatest creation shall be loosed. Arise, my daughter. Arise, Carolyn. By your will, Father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the Swarm. 
Well done, Cerebrit. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? Sarah, is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams... I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now, and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Cerebrit, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zaz. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly, no Zerg can stray from my will. For all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. Cerebrate, I have located the records I sought. We have everything we need here. You feel that, Cerebrate? The Protoss are here! On Char. They have been for some time. Hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here. For I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg. For we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Kerrigan, I sense something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You will be the doom of us all. Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. 
Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan. Zas is dead. Oh? It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrate, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Behold, my long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind touched with mine, and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayr, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Ayr directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Cerebrate, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. Now, Protoss, you shall know my wrath. Now you will know the fury of the Queen of Blades. I'm glad to see that you all are as violent as ever. Kerrigan, what mockery is this? Relax, warriors. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned, we will not suffer your treachery here. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on Char. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here She lies. Than... She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. 
Apparently, many of the renegade cerebrates commanded by Dagoth have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet, but Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kalis before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moon rise. Crystal's here, boys. Send in a probe to gather it up, and our work here is done. You have done well, Kerrigan. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged you. Given our history, I can't say I blame you. Let's just get the job done. Executor, the Urash is secured and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Kallus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, Unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there'll be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the Callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit. Noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayr have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayr and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, 
Are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May Adun forgive us. It is finished, Judicator. Surrender your remaining forces and join us in eradicating the Zerg. I would sooner die, Dark One, than tarnish the memory of Ayer by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ayer will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. Alderis, be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by I have this- no time for this. What have you done? I just cleaned up your mess, Protoss. Don't be so squeamish. Wretched creature. This was a Protoss matter. You had no right to interfere. We gone from this world. You are no longer welcome among us. Fine. I've done what I came here to do. I've ensured the destruction of the renegade Cerebrates, and I used you to do it. Have fun, mighty Protoss. We'll be seeing each other again. Real soon. This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artanis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself, while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. Captain, the medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the Overmind. Uh, excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. Uran, you son of a bitch. <laughs>
What's the meaning of this? Admiral de Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, what the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral. There are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination. Seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. Greetings, Cerebrit. By now you've realized that I've severed your connection with the Overmind and your renegade brethren. Understand, it's nothing personal. I just can't risk you falling under their influence. You're mine now. Serve me unquestioningly, and I'll let you live. My queen, pardon me for interrupting. But the visitors you have been expecting have arrived. Finally. They certainly took their time. Yeah, well, none of us were in any real hurry to get here, Sarah. Still suspicious of my motives, Jimmy? Always. <laughs> when I contacted you both on IR, I told you about the new Overmind and about the UED that seeks to control it. Well, the UED has done it. They've tamed the Overmind and now control most of the Zerg broods in this sector. That's why I've asked for your help. You want us to help you defeat the UED, so that you alone will rule the Zerg. Wrong, Phoenix. I want to defeat them because if we don't, they'll clamp down on this sector and enslave us all. You know I'm right, Jim. You've studied the history of Earth. You know what the UED's agenda is. Taking control of the Zerg is only the beginning for them. Maybe. I don't know. My queen, again I beg your pardon for this interruption, but we have a very serious problem. Perfect timing. Gentlemen, we'll need to finish this conversation later. Continue, Duran. The Psy Disruptor signal has reached us here in Tarsonis and shattered the unity of your broods. Within the past few hours, your minions have turned on each other and left their hive clusters to run out of control. This is just what I need. Cerebrate, take the few zergs still under my control and do what you can to stem any further damage to the hive clusters. I can't afford to have them destroyed by my own minions. The Psy Disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the UED. That's reassuring. Arcturus, I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Carrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate Psy Disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your Psy Emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm, a tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, 
You'll be the emperor of your own little 8x8 eight eight cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. Now that the Psy Disruptor has been destroyed and Kerrigan has regained control of her minions, I fear that she will forget our pact and turn on us. I know what you mean, Phoenix. I'd love to believe that she's on the level, but there's a part of me that just knows better. However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us when she wins. If you ask me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Core Hall, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. If I wanted your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you. And in case you forgot, you are the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice with each other. Kerrigan, are your forces ready to assault Core Hall as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary hive clusters. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. Moria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, we'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Korhal. It's risky, but I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it betters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything, my queen? Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. You have all performed superbly, especially you, Phoenix. My hive clusters are brimming with energy, and my broods are stronger than ever. Then let's waste no time. Every moment we sit here means that the UED's defenses will be that much stronger, and I want nothing to stand between us and the retaking of my planet. You're right, Arcturus. The time to strike the UED is now. But remember that we're up against one of the most heavily defended planets in the Scepter. Laying siege to Korhal won't be easy. Not only does the UED control a substantial standing army, but may have Zerg reinforcements as well. Raynor, you and Phoenix will strike at the more outlying fortification, while my forces are busy assaulting the main UED base at Augustgrad. We've discussed this plan a hundred times. Commence the damn attack! Ha! Very well, Arcturus. Before the next sunrise, Korra will be yours once again. Cerebrate. Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Minx will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrit, I want both General Duke's and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. Oh, you bitch. We had a deal. Oh, come on, Arcturus. Did you really think I'd allow you to come into power again? You practically fed me to the Zerg on Tarsonis. You're directly responsible for the hell I've been through. Did you honestly think I'd let you get away with that? But you said revenge was secondary to defeating the UED. I lied. I liberated this planet because it was the UED's primary staging point, not because I was under any obligation to you. I used you to destroy the Psy Disruptor. And now that I've got my broods back, you're no longer necessary for my plans. I think I'll leave you here, Arcturus, among the ashes of your precious dominion. I want you to live to see me rise to power, and I want you to always remember, in your most private moments, that it was you who turned me loose in the first place. Betrayal, most foul Kerrigan. We were fools to have gone along with this charade. 
You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tassadar teaching you a very similar lesson on Char. I took that lesson to heart, Praetor. Now, are you ready to die a second time? The Kala awaits me, Keridin. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. Phoenix. No. What are you worried about, Jim? He died the way all Protoss hoped to. In combat. He died because you betrayed him. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. For Phoenix, and all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes to be a killer. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who's gonna kill you someday. I'll be seeing you. It is done, Cerebrate. They've all been destroyed. Let us return to Tarsonis to rest. For the first time since my transfiguration, I am wearied of the slaughter. My queen, our scouts have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the UED is testing out their control of their pet Overmind. I had hoped to lay low after we raised Korhal, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes. We've got to defend our remaining outposts, and make sure that the Renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, we'll begin to take the fight to their Hive Clusters. Cerebrate, it's time we return to Shakuras. I have some unfinished business with the Dark Templar Matriarch, Rashagal. I'll need to steal her from her tribe before we can finally assault the Overmind on Char. However, her defenders will not simply allow us to take her away. The Pylon Clusters are generating some sort of electromagnetic field that is preventing our flyers from maneuvering. We won't have any air support at all. Then we'll need some new strategy. Perhaps it would be best if we staged some kind of diversion, my queen, and claimed the Matriarch during the confusion. What did you have in mind, Duran? The Protoss outpost of Telematros is built upon a large mesa and is essentially impregnable to ground attacks. However, Telematros is fueled and supported by a number of adjacent pylon clusters. I believe that if we can cause a surge within those pylon clusters, we can cause Telematros power grids to overload. The resulting explosion will be the perfect cover for retrieving the Matriarch. Queen, simple, devious. I like it. Make it happen, Duran. Cerebrate, you'll provide cover for Duran as he infiltrates the pylon clusters. Let nothing stand in our way. The time is finally upon us, my minions, to destroy the wretched Overmind and the last of its renegade Cerebrates. We can count on the UED providing us with heavy resistance, but not even they can stand in our way. Now that the Matriarch Rashagal is in my custody, I possess the means to attack the Overmind with impunity. But my queen, I thought only the Dark Templar's energies could harm the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Even with the numerous broods at your command, any attack we launch against the Renegades will be in vain. Not so, Duran. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting my secret weapon to be arriving very soon. As you say, my queen. But I still don't understand. We are receiving a transmission from an unidentified Protoss carrier. That's what I love about the Protoss. They're so punctual. Garrigan, this is Zeratul. I demand to know why you've taken our matriarch. Actually, Zeratul, she's not the one I'm truly interested in. 
I stole her to get to you. You see, I need you and your brethren to kill the Overmind for me. The only way I had of assuring your cooperation was to take away that which you value most. However, I give you my word that once you've killed the Overmind, I'll allow her to return to you. As if your word held any value. Zeritul, my faithful servant, you must aid Kerrigan in this endeavor. The Overmind is our common enemy. It must be destroyed to ensure that our people will survive. You ask me to aid this vile creature? I do not ask this for myself. Nor do I ask it on Kerrigan's behalf. I ask you to do this for our people, Zeratul. Obey me as you always have. Trust in my judgment. Very well, Matriarch. The Overmind will die this day. It is done, Carrion. The Overmind is dead, if you wish to. Now, I demand that you release the Matriarch at once. Of course. Rashagal, do you wish to return to your tribe? No, my queen. I wish only to serve you and remain at your side. What treachery is this, Kerrigan? This pathetic creature cannot possibly be rational. <laughs> I promised that I'd allow her to return to you, Zeratul. But it looks to me like she doesn't want to go. You have corrupted her. Somehow you have poisoned her thoughts. Restore her to her rightful self, or you will pay dearly for this offense, Kerrigan. Alright, Zeratul. You got me. I made your matriarch my slave long before I joined you on Shikoris. She made the mistake of underestimating my power, just like everyone else did. And now she's paying the price. With her as my puppet, I was able to eradicate the renegades on Shikoris and use you to kill the Overmind. And as you can see, your leader belongs to me now. Not bad, huh? We shall see, Carrion. We shall see. My queen, with the Overmind and its Cerebrates destroyed, all of the Zerg in this sector have reverted to your direct control. The remnants of the UED fleet have fled the planet, but I have no idea how many functional ships they still possess. We have finished relocating your primary hive clusters to this orbital platform. However, we do have a problem. Somehow, Zeratul and his brethren were able to bypass our defenses and steal their matriarch away from us. Damn Zeratul. He is a formidable adversary. Where have they run to, Duran? Our scouts report that they have regrouped with a number of protest survivors on the surface of Char. The Matriarch is being held within a stasis cell, leading me to suspect that the Protoss will attempt to take her home to Shakuras. <laughs> they still believe that she can be saved from my influence. Zeratul will be very disappointed to learn that Rashigal is beyond redemption. How much time before their fleet is ready to debark for Shakuras? They will be capable of dimensional recall within 30 minutes, my queen. That may be all the time we need. Cerebrate, mobilize all of my broods and send them to the surface of Char. I want you to bring both the Matriarch and Zeratul to me alive. Terminate the remaining Protoss with extreme prejudice. Damn you, Kerrigan, for what I must do. Thank you, Zeratu. You have freed me from her violent control of the past. You have always served me with your honor. Thus, I must ask you to watch over my tribe. Into your hands I give the future. I can hardly believe this. You've killed your own matriarch. Better that I killed her, than let her live as your slave, Kerrigan. Well, I have misjudged you, Lori. You are worthy indeed. You are free to go. What? I said you are free to go. 
I've already taken your honor. I'll let you live because I know that from now on your every waking moment will be torture. You'll never be able to forgive yourself for what I've forced you to do. And that, Zeratul, is a better revenge than I could have ever dreamed of. You will regret this decision, Kerrigan. We shall meet again. Cerebrit, our scouts have just identified three separate fleets approaching this platform. With Duran having disappeared, and the bulk of my brood still on the surface of Char, you'll need to hold off the invaders by yourself. You sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Arcturus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan. This is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Phoenix, the Matriarch, and all of the other Protoss who fell before the Swarm. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Protoss, too. Care to take a guess as to who the Third Fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. That is correct, Carrigan. This is Admiral de Gaulle. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the Queen Bitch of the Universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim clumps. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm.
Gates of Doom. Zeratul. I have pierced the veil of the future and beheld only oblivion. Yet one spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Oblivion together. Never.
Sarah. You reading all this? You have your orders, Mr. Findlay. Carry them out. Titus, what have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies. I go free. We all got our choices to make. Damn shame. It's okay. I got you. Open the door, son. 
Valerian's orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. to this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, sir. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing.
Jim? Jim? Where's Jim? We... couldn't get him out. Valerian. You left him behind! Stand down! Let him go, Kerrigan. Valerian is helping us. There is no us. IFF negative. Multiple hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads, three through nine. Hull breach, frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver, Delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. Shields at 30. Failure imminent. Multiple Dominion fleet. This is Hyperion. Cease fire. Crown Prince Valerian is aboard. My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the queen. We have to jump now. We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Decompress Sarah! We need to work together. Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed. Wounded to those shuttles. They're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. 
Just see to those wounded. <laughs> I'll get out another way. <laughs> shuttles packed with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> General, we're surrounded. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <clears throat> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now?
I had to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me?
waiting for you. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lives you've ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster. Gun. You made us all into monsters. Thank you, Jim. For everything. My pleasure, darling. see my true enemy. He waits for me in the void, wielding powers I cannot imagine. I go to face him, having renounced everything. My humanity. My identity. The man I love. But I will not face this enemy alone. The swarm. I have come seeking this Zelnaga.
it seems fate has drawn us together. You should not tempt it further. Something's not right here. Broken Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important. You better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now. I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan.
chances are, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called the Zeratul, in you. The prophecies Zeratul followed, the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelmaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelmaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelmaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah. You don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. moments together they will always be with me darling I... we have to go now Jim Just like you always said, 
You know, Matt, someday you're going to wind up leading this bunch of misfits. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. You will hold her life in your hands. You about ready to get out of here, cowboy?